Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and we are creating series of video tutorials for CRUD operation in React using PHP API and MySQL database. So in the last session we have seen how to create a GET API and get the data and then render it into web browser. Now in this session we are going to, we are going to see how to work on this edit. So as you can see in URL it is going to user then one then edit. So this is the here we have the ID. So we have to write one more API now, get API to get the details of this user. And then we have to design form similar to this and pre-populate the details of that user. Okay. So we already have this get request for all users. Now we have to just modify it to get the specific users data. Now let's go ahead and do it. Okay. So let's first design the form. So I'm just going to copy everything from here and paste it. And let's change the label. Oh, this should be create anyway. So here it should be edit user. And let's go here and make it change create user. So if you go here, it should be create, it should be list. And from here, it should be edit. Okay, so the form is ready. Now we have to just pre populate the data from here, right? So we already have API. If you see here, we already have API for getting all the users. I'm going to just copy this here. Um, let's go maybe here. And we are going to use this use state hook. So just import it. So it will, it will try to grade the user, but a specific user, right? And uh, so let's modify it. It should be user and then ID. And okay, so we will be needing this ID and this ID is already there into URL. So we can use one more uh, hook, which is oh, it is router hook. So you can use use params and let's say const id use params so now you will be getting the id like this and it should be calling this method get user to this uh, link and once we get the data we have to set this now not users we are here we are having inputs here so i'm just going to say set inputs okay so it will be making a call and uh, let's see i go to the api now and i'm just going to modify a little bit here so that it can handle both the request into the same method uh, getting the all users and getting the single user so i'm just going to modify uh, with the help of so see what will happen whenever this a API will come, uh, then we will be having with the help of dollar underscore server super global variable, we can get the request URL URI and basically it will return. Let me just show you echo exit refresh this page and you can see here it is returning API user one. So we are getting this whole URL. Now we have to just get this one from here and you can uh, use one more method here. I'm just going to say, uh, let's say path equal to explode and it should be accepting two parameters. First one is how you wanted to explode the string. So we, we are saying that with the forward slash and then uh, from here, okay. So if you just print this now, this one, it should be showing you array of data here, refresh. As you can see, zero, one, two, three. So on three, we have one. So if you just simply say, check one condition, maybe here, if it's set, if this path is set 
or maybe we can be more specific if this is set and is numeric um, dollar path of three if it is set and it is, it is numeric then go inside and we already have this uh, sql variable here so i'm just going to use dollar sql and i'm going to concat it with some additional string which is where condition where id equal to id and uh, we will be needing all these things so i'm just going to copy it it will prepare and then it will execute and then it will get the data but this time only one so you can use fetch method and now we have to bind it uh, one parameter here id so i'm just going to copy this and after prepare you can use id and you already getting the id from the variable dollar underscore path um, sorry dollar path so you can simply change it so yeah and in else block paste it so if you're getting the id it will go and return only the specific user id information and if it is not getting this then it will go and execute all and it will return all the users let's refresh this page and check so as you can see now it is returning all the information now we have to just show it into here we have to pre-populate it here and you can simply do it by you already setting this um, inputs so you have to just go to each and every element of your input box and you can simply use value equal to input inputs dot name here if you just save you will be seeing that we are getting the name here and similarly you can use value inputs dot um, email and input start mobile as you can see we are getting all the data pre-populated here now we have to just uh, we are getting some warning but okay we will check it later maybe uh, our job is done here to be pre-populating now we have to once users save this click on the save button it should go to the php and update the database so if you go to uh, localhost and php my admin here we have users table and all the information now let's work on the edit api so first thing is on handle submit we have to update it to put method this time and here it should be going to edit a user and dollar and also we have to remove this and enclose it like this so and this id we are already getting at the top here so our this api endpoint is ready now let's go to the api file and duplicate this update the case to put because this time we'll be getting put method request we will be reading the data the same way sql need to be changed so we will be saying that update user and uh, set name equal to name email equal to email mobile equal to mobile Oops. and finally updated at updated at equal to updated at okay so let's change this one only and this variable and one more thing we have to add one condition that it should be updating to the id which we will be sending so where id equal to colon id and let's change it to id only
now let's go ahead and update the message also record updated successfully failed to update now our api is also re ready let's go to the form and uh, let's go to the list again select this test 5 and say test 5 user click on update i think we're getting some error okay so this error is saying oh okay we are again getting the uh, course policy issue because now this time we are trying to make put method request and by default in php only get and post are supported if you want to allow other ones then you have to uh, explicitly allow them so here method and you can specify your gate post uh, put but i'm just going to say star for now um, let's refresh the page again and uh, just try update and as you can see this is updating now here we have taste only let's update this one this should be such in save and you can see the data is getting updated and you can update all the data so here you can say Sachin and save so Sachin data got updated here right so our update is also working in the next session i'll be showing you how to delete this record